Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here doing a quick video on how to breed angelfish. I want to make this as short as possible with the most beneficial information that you'll need to get your angelfish starting to breed. Uh, right here is my boy and right there is my girl. Uh, in the video I posted previous to this, I show exactly what to look for with the egg duck to tell if you have a male and a female. Basically with these guys, uh, they'll be located into a 20 gallon high tank with a sponge filter and a heater and a piece of slate rock and one of these Amazon sword plants in it. Uh, that way they can have the right amount of uh, straight substrate to breed on. Uh, hopefully they'll breed on the slate rock that I'll be putting in just like this one. You can pick up at pretty much any hardware store or even in your backyard if you're lucky enough like me. Uh, so with these guys, it's really not too tough. It's just creating a water temperature of 80 degrees. These guys I have in 7.8 for the pH. Uh, and they, the nitrate, nitrite, and ammonia, uh, you definitely want to keep it as minimal as possible. Uh, that way they're not stressing out because these guys do not really uh, get acclimated to bad water conditions. So that's definitely something you want to keep in mind. But when it comes to breeding with these guys, you want to just condition them. What I do with these guys is I feed them loads and loads of frozen brine shrimp and just good protein flake food and pellet food. And these guys will pretty much breed once a week uh, if I take the eggs out. So they'll keep breeding and breeding as long as you want them to, uh, to the point where you have to separate them if you want them to stop breeding. So again, if you want to breed these guys, like I said, I use a 20 gallon high tank. I heat the water to about 80, 82, depending on the whatever the heater sets at, uh, and then I do just a sponge filter. You won't want to do anything with a heavy current, and then I put one of these Amazon sword plants in, and then a piece of slate rock, and pretty much they start breeding. When it comes to raising the fry, that can be a little bit tricky. Uh, if you want premium quality angelfish fry, you really need to pay attention to the water changes and the quality of food that you're feeding them. If you really want to see some growth on them, uh, you want to do frozen baby brine shrimp, live brine shrimp, or baby brine shrimp. And then you also want to do some crazy water changes. And as you can see right here, this guy is actually, this is where they spawned last night. But because it's in the community tank, they pretty much got all eaten. And nothing's left. Uh, so they will be moving soon. So like I said, check out the previous video on how to breed these guys. Pictures, detailed up close pictures of what you should expect and look for. Uh, we're back to the fry. After a few days, they'll hatch. The parents are usually pretty good parents. Uh, you might have a couple that aren't, but what you do want to do is if you have a couple that aren't, you can take the piece of slate rock out or the plant out. That's why it's best to put multiple things in there to give them multiple things to choose from. Even driftwood works real well, uh, and that can actually help maintain your pH in the water. Uh, but after they breed, they hatch, the fry will become free swimming, usually within about a week to 10 days. And that's when the fun begins. That's when you can start doing the baby brine shrimp and all that fun stuff. Uh, but like I said, water changes are the key to these guys. 50% uh, water changes every other day if you can. Even every day is not going to hurt them. Um, like I said, they are pretty good parents. They'll pick everything off, no problem. But what you can also do to kind of mimic the parents cleaning out the eggs is you can take a air stone, the bar ones, and slant it up towards the eggs and put it at, like I pinched the line with a rubber band so that way it's not a full blown water wall or air bubble wall. And that way it kind of fans off the eggs but not strong enough to knock them off the actual platform they're breeding on. So that's key to those guys. You also want to put some, uh, I believe it's methane blue in the water, just a few drops to kind of help stop the fungus on the eggs. And that way you don't have to worry about your eggs turning white and spreading the fungus to good eggs. Uh, but if you do have a good pair and they are fertile, uh, you'll be able to see the babies develop in the eggs. If not, and they're not fertile, the eggs will actually turn white with a fungus and that can actually spread to other eggs. So you definitely want to get those best as possible uh, but what you can also do is if you can't get to them just take an eyedropper and squeeze it a little bit insert into the wire and just suck up the egg just like that it's not too hard to do 
So like I said, raising quality angelfish fry, uh, the water changes are probably the most important. I've heard that from everybody, uh, and I've seen it myself. You just get a better quality angelfish with a better and more frequent water changes. Uh, you want to feed them a couple of times a day. The more food, the better. Uh, like I said right here, they're actually fighting over the female. So they can be quite aggressive when it comes to the female. I've seen these guys actually take out fish when it comes to their nesting site. So just be careful with that. But check out my last video on how to sex angelfish and hope that helps. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or reviews, or requests,